Horror in the 1950s was a typically B-movie yarn. You had the likes of Them, It the Terror from Beyond Space, The Thing from Another World. In France in the 1950s, cinema was quite intellectual. They didn't rely on dodgy creatures or wonky sets. More work was put into the scripts and thus taken more seriously. This movie is proof that horror has a place at the big table. One of the greatest movies of its respective decade. Henri Georges Clouseau's Diabolique. <laughs> The story centers around a cruel headmaster, his wife and his mistress. The wife and mistress agree that it would be better for them if the husband met an untimely death. A plan is set in motion, but the events don't go as they plan. After they thought he was dead, throwing his body into a swimming pool to tie up loose ends, the body disappears, and a mystery ensues. C'est le sien. Et tu crois qu'il n'y a pas de quoi devenir cinglé? Attends. When it was released, it was big business, but critics outside of France were split. While reviews in the United States were great, the English press were less than enthusiastic. No bad press could stop it from winning the Louis de Luc Prize for Best Picture. It's said that Hitchcock wanted to make it, but was thwarted by Clouseau. It would later serve as an inspiration for Psycho. The unfortunate passing of Vera Clouseau at 46, five years after its original release, got the media tongues wagging as it seemed oddly coincidental. Watch the movie to see what I mean. I've said this a lot recently, Channel 4's 100 Scariest Moments. Yep, that moment where people lost their shit ended up on many other lists as well. Bravo TV's version, the BF5's Top 100 Thrillers, one of the greatest twists you'll ever see. It's been remade and adapted for American television. Remember in a previous video I mentioned the filmmaker Curtis Harrington, the man instrumental in rediscovering James Whale's The Old Dark House? He made the 1967 movie Games which used certain themes from the original. In 1996 another remake starring Chaz Palminteri, Kathy Bates and Sharon Stone. Smart horrors and thrillers have been made for decades, but have been made to take the back seats to the wooden dialogue, the man in the suit, the blood and guts, for the short-term profits. And they're seen as good fun nowadays. The influence of Diabolique has crafted filmmakers to think about the possibilities ahead. Just look at Jaws and Alien, and you can see that intelligence can be profitable and memorable. Now just to piss off the supporters of manga out there, make anal great again. <laughs> 